Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Hi baby, it's Vidic here and welcome back to Lunaris. In today's video, we are going to be slaying the sponsor snake for an hour in the best gear in the game to see how much money we can make. We've even got a maxed out mini me pet, an imbued heart to raise up our mage a lot, and a ring of wealth for the increased drop rate bonus. Look at him eyeing me down. Oh no, wait, he's just looking at his son. Look at her perfectly in sync. He's my son now. Don't look at him. By the way, guys, I'm also going to be giving away 1 mil 07 GP. You can exchange this for a mil on Old School RuneScape on the 15th or 30th. More information in the description. Or you can sell it in game for about 600 mil. Your decision. All you got to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Lunaris in game name down below. I just want to show you guys a couple threads really quick before we get into the video. First of all, Lunars is giving out over $750 in Steam keys through their events. There's an events section in the forum where you can see these, and the first one we got here is a $100 hybrid PKing tournament. So as you can see, this tournament is actually today, in just a couple of hours at 5 p.m. EST. All you gotta do is have max combat, you show up, you use the preset, and you can win first place $75 in Steam keys and second place $25. And lastly, our BB Cakes DRR Def made a nice thread on how to get 07 GP tickets in game yourself. He lays the methods out nicely, so if you're interested in making some 07 GP or just a bunch of GP on Lunaris, uh, check that out. All the links will be in the description. Alright, so here we are with the sponsor snake. First, let's take a look at my gear. First of all, we got the Sanguine SC staff from Raids 2 that's really strong and gives us some high hits. Of course, Ancestral, an Occult Ornament Kit. And all the other goodies, including a Ring of Wealth imbued, like I mentioned, which is going to give us increased drop rate. And then I got my Mini-Me pet here, which is decked out in maxed range. You got the T-Bow and the Pernix and all. And then we got an imbued heart as well, uh, so we can get the most mage bonus possible. Alright, now let's take a look at his drops here. The common drops aren't anything too special as you expect. Uncommon, uh, Staminas are pretty nice, those are quite expensive. I think you can only really get them from the Blood Money store. And Karambons as well. There's a store for those, and I believe they're like a few hundred K each. These cooked rabbits are decent food, I think they're one less than anglerfish, and then some nice resources as well. So over here on the rare table, first of all we got blood money, 25 mil of it, that's pretty good, and an overload as well. I was actually killing him on the sponsor video, on the sponsor zone video, and I got an overload, so maybe we'll pull one of those out and test it out. In this situation it's not really useful, but I'm kinda curious of how well it raises my mage and how long. A few herb boxes, and I like this, Dragon Impling Jars, four of them. So yeah, that'd be kind of nice to get. And then this is the very rare table. Three hour XP booster, I really hope we don't get that. That would suck. Um, it's not bad, obviously, but it's a lot worse than either the Snake Pet or the Scythe Sharpener. Now this gives a Scythe a 15% chance not to consume its charges, but if you get duplicates, like I already have one, you can alk it for 600 mil cash. Alright, so I think we got everything we need. I'm going to set up my quick prayers, protect from magic, and we got augury, of course. We're going to use our imbued heart here. That's going to bring us to 109 magic. Okay, not bad at all. Quick prayers, and let's start the timer now. Get over here. Let's put our XP up as well. That'll help. And get a nice view here. Right on the peninsula. As far as we can go. Oh, I didn't even realize this. The staff actually heals you too. I totally forgot about that. So as you can see, we got healed 10, we got healed 3. It doesn't really matter at this boss, because your protection prayers work like 100%, but it is good to know. Do you see that? <laughs> when he gets hit, or when I get hit, it shows the animation on his on the little icon down there, see? It's, uh, it's interesting. Alright, first kill here. Let's get the rares drop first kill. Easy peasy. Alright, dragon arrows. Now if you happen to be doing the sponsor snake in between kills, uh, you could bring these uh, explosive jars and do these little uh, explode fishing spots. You're going to get XP and I think a few different skills, including ranged. Now, I would do it myself, but it puts a ton of fish in your inventory. And I'm trying to keep it a little organized. That way, after the entire hour, we can have a nice spread. A nice spread of all the items. Alright, actually, I like this better. We got a nicer view of him. Ooh, who hit that 66? Was that you, little Jimmy? What did that mean? I took my XP off. See ya, heck. 
<laughs> you dragon arrows, you bitch. Now I kind of want to try something. Yeah, there it is. We got the overload in the bank. Now we used the imbued heart just about five minutes ago. Pretty much exactly. And it's down to 104. I think it started at 109 and went down to 104. So, how about we pop an overload and see what that takes us. Oh, 118 mage? Oh my god. Look at that. I thought it wasn't working at first. So, imbued heart brought us to 108. This brought us to 118 and I believe it doesn't it doesn't like go down since it's an overload it'll just stay up so that's actually pretty cool I don't know if you can get overloads from it oh my god yeah you saw oh my god what the fuck <laughs> alright all I want from this boss now is overloads dude holy shit I think this is the only way to get overloads currently I don't think they've been in the game yet I correct me if I'm wrong but uh see so, so, alright kill three here now this is nice sadly we only got one overload two toasts left actually I had less than one Damn, I was going through some of the settings, look at this, you can take off all of the status orbs. All of these. Imagine playing RuneScape like that, that's how it used to be. Now we got all this useful information just sitting right there. Alright, so I took off the NPC HP bar, I put away my XP, because I mean, I don't know, look how nice it is. There we go, Uncut Diamond, alright, that's the third drop. Now I'm expecting another Uncut Diamond next drop. Hopefully my overload is not gone, please! Ah, oh, it is, but look at that, wait, our mage is still at 117. That'd be really cool if after the overload went out, for some reason, the mage stayed and then just slowly, slowly degraded. Oh, and look at that. It is working how I thought. So, usually with an overload, you pop the overload, all your stats go up to whatever, 120, whatever the fuck it is, 125. And then after five minutes, they all go back down to 99. Now, with normal potions, when you boost them, they boost up and then they slowly degrade. So after the overload went away, it kept our mage high and now it's just letting it degrade down. Yeah, see there, it just went to 115. So that's actually really good because the imbued heart only brings us up to 109. So I might as well wait until it goes down to 109 and then pop another overload. Because honestly, these hits are really helping us get some, some faster kills. It's crazy how like just 10 more mage levels make such a big difference. Alright, we're coming up just over the 30 minute mark right here, and the inventory is looking garbage. It makes sense, so this boss is more about the rare drops you're going for versus like the common stuff. The common stuff isn't horrible, you're not going to drop it, but you're really only going to make money or get something good when you get the rare drops. Alright, some cooked crumb one, I'll take it. That's worth a little bit, it's not bad. You get these from the donator store, or the store on donator island one of them and I think they're 300k each so if that's true that's 10 mil right there yeah oh <laughs> are you serious oh my god <laughs> look at look at ooh look at ooh in the chat any luck yet Literally right after he asks that, side stripe, but I'm sorry, brother. Ah, uh, he was actually just here before as well. Scythe Sharpener Baby, that is the rarest drop we could have gotten. That's 600 mil cash right there, I just doubled my, my, my couch pouch. Couch, couch, coin pouch, fuck. Alright, that is beautiful. We could have got, that could have been a 3 hour XP booster. It wouldn't have been Gratz shiny, it would have been Rip shiny. There we go, not bad. <gasps> All right. Well, we'll keep this baby in our inventory. We will elk it at the end. We got about 13 more minutes, so we could get something even more special. Who knows? We're at 107, so I might as well use my imbued heart now to get to 109. And I realized they have the preserve prayer on here. So basically, it makes boosted stats last 50% longer. That'd be really useful for the imbued heart, especially useful for the overload. We'd stay at 118. Well, it would just you know it starts at 118 mage and it would just degrade a lot slower so that would be nice all right how about back to back baby come on all right guys looks like we are on our last kill here not gonna be enough time for one more so let's finish off strong here with the snake pet drop dead snake drop gimme gimme <gasps> okay wrath rise. what did i expect what did i expect we got the motherfucking scythe sharpener so let's move all this bullshit out of the way Alright, so one entire hour of the sponsor snake. We got a lot of common drops. 
Uh, did we only hit the common table? Besides, obviously, this, the scythe? Yeah, all of this stuff is from the common table. We did get the Karamb ones, I think, once. One time, and that was from the uncommon table. So we were... All of our RNG was spent into that scythe sharpener, which I don't mind at all. Because it could have been a fucking 3-hour XP booster. How shitty would that have been? Didn't get any extra overloads either. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to add a way to make these later. Or maybe make more bosses drop them, but... Either way, I think we got pretty much the best thing we could have gotten. We already got the pet. He's trying to give me 105 mil for a giveaway. Alright, I won't, I won't take it though. I won't take it. I'll let him keep his money. He might be the cake. So yeah, as I said, um, if you have a scythe sharpener already, there's really no use for the second one. Uh, so you can actually alk it for 600 mil. So, high level alchemy. Not low. Hey, yay! Oh, oh there it is. Nice. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be there. I just never out something for this much, miss this much money. So there we go. We cleaned out the common table. We got one uncommon drop, and we jumped straight up to the very rare and just drained our whole load. Well, all right, guys. We're here back at the sponsor snake. You know, ooh, actually, let us have the sponsor snake for the whole hour because he was here before. I told him I was gonna make a video, and he just let me have it. it kind of felt bad, but you know, he's here now. I, I took all the good drops away. <laughs> no. I'm not sure exactly what he's going for. Probably not Mithril or Hey, that's already luckier than me. I only hit the uncommon table once. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, remember, today, in just a couple hours, there is a $100 hybrid tournament. So if you're maxed and you want to make some free monies, hop on at 5 p.m. EST. I'll post the threads in the description if you want all the more information. And, uh, and win. Just win. Easy as that. That's all you gotta do is win. Alrighty, guys. Like I said, I'm also giving away 1 mil 07 GP. You can trade this over for a mil on Old School RuneScape, or you can uh, sell it for like 600 mil here on Lunaris, so your choice is yours. All you gotta do to answer is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Lunaris in-game name down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel for a lot more videos, and have a nice day.